ericmwadetmwada.com. So this is a five-year weekly chart for SODA. Now it could be for any stock, any instrument, any ETF, whatever market you're trading, this could still work. The reason for this video is I just saw this example and I was like, man, I gotta use this. So what we have here is a good example of 38.2. Positive divergence. All right. So the reason why I want to bring this up is because this is the best type of divergence there is. Whenever you see a stock, and here we have a good example. So here we made an intraday low. Remember, this is a five-year weekly. So a five-year weekly. And so we make a low here in price, which is this RSI low. And keep in mind, whenever you see the RSI stay below 30.9 for a long period, it suggests that there's going to be an attempt to break the lows or even slash through the lows. So this generally means that if you stay below 30.9 for a couple of weeks, couple of months like we did here, chances are you're going to have to retest the lows. We see a perfect example of this. So prices go higher over a period of many months and come back and test it here and test it again. So we can say those lows. So let me take all that off and we're just going to draw a line connecting the lows here. And you can see there were several attempts on a weekly basis to drop below this line that held. So that's an attempt to break down. While all that is happening, especially throughout this period in early 16, which is here, you can see your RSI puts in a nice double bottom support at about the 38.2 level. In other words, we have prices trying to go to fresh lows, technicals improving, and that improvement in technicals also saw the RSI hold above 38.2. And again, that is the best type of positive divergence. Also, you'll see that the stock again, so we make a low, we come and try and move below here a couple of weeks. We move higher, we try and break below the low here. But while all this is happening, the RSI keeps making higher lows. In other words, the technical strength, the technical picture keeps improving while prices are threatening to make fresh lows. And so you have this nice line here. Now this line comes into play later on. But for now, we can see a nice straight line. The lows are hugging this line while prices are all over the place. Ultimately, with the improvement in strength, strength improvement, strength improvement, strength improvement, we generate enough energy to see this nice movement to the upside. So again, the best type of Positive divergence is when the prices either, after making a low, come back and test the lows or break below the lows, but the RSI holds above the 38.2 level. Keep in mind, it's not necessarily exactly at 38.2, but in this general area. So that tends to be the worst excuse me, that tends to be the best type of positive divergence. So that's why I made this video, just to explain why this is the best type of example and show you visually the results of that. Now, I also want to take a moment, just because I see this on the chart, to help explain why this lows in RSI coincides with price lows here. We're talking about price lows that held at about Let's call it 23, 24, $25 range before the stock goes up to about the lower 50s. That's almost a fifth, 
a 100% return in a couple of weeks between here and here. Was there anything on the charts telling us that this was potential for a major low and a reversal? Well, a couple of things. Number one, we know that when a stock bounces and holds the RSI 50 level with uniform activity, that tends to be a good place to expect a bounce. Did the stock slash below 50? No. In fact, we can see it never gets to 50 and there's uniform activity around that 50 level and back above it. And that's why we get this major low. As a sharp example of this in the opposite direction, we see what happens when we have uniform activity rejection when you move above the 50 line and back below like we did here. Even this can be considered two instances of trying to move above the 50 level and failing. Uniform activity above 50 back below it, back to the 50 line, and again uniform activity above the 50 line back below it, and ultimately once you break below that 50 level, and also happens to be a trend break, here, this trend break coincides with the movement back below 50 level, prices move from let's call it the lower 20s to the lows here of about let's call it the 11 12 dollar area. So RSI 50 bounce gave us a good entry. Since this took place with RSI holding above 50 with uniform activity. That's one reason why this was a good bounce area. Now let's go to reason number two. And reason number two goes back to the same uniformity resistance line that we had previously drawn. So we take a look at the line that we drew coming off the lows here. This positive divergence line, that's why I always say it's a good practice to extend your lines. We extend the same line that gave us the lows. So as, as the RSI was improving, prices were making fresh lows here and here. Ultimately, that improvement in RSI strength led to this reversal. Extend the same line. Extend the same line and you see that down the road, the market comes and finds support precisely with a double bottom on the same line. That was good enough for the lows here. So that's reason number two. Let me give you reason number three. And this goes back to the breakout now. And what we're going to do is just draw a simple line connecting the previous highs. Like that. Something like that. And we can see it connects nicely with the highs. Of course, the highs here touches that high and then this high. And then there's a breakout. This breakout right there coincides with this price explosion. Stock hasn't looked back since. So we take this breakout level there at about 51 or 52 on the RSI. And we draw a line from there. A horizontal line should be something like that and again we get double bottom support on the same line without any type of adjustment so there's your reason number three you got uniformity support double bottom uniform activity support on the line for the lows here ultimately we get this strong reversal good for about a 100 percent return in a couple of weeks or let's say in a couple of months. Eric Moad with Mother.com. Great to see examples here of how we can use the RSI. And it's the same thing we've been looking at from just a slightly different angle. Eric Moad with Mother.com. Always good luck, peace, and blessings. E-A-C-S. Mwah.